Hey everyone, it's T here again. I know I didn't do the intro like I normally do. I'm having a really off day today. Uh, yesterday, I had to go to the finger doctor and it was very painful. They removed the stitches, but some stitches were buried under really thick scabs and there was scraping and owies and yeah. So I'm still trying to stay off the... Uh, pain meds so I just took some Tylenol ibuprofen had a really rough night late morning start um, but the finger looks better other than it's not completely reconnected so to speak so I have to be extremely careful with it because there's not stitches holding it on anymore there's nothing this is the back side of it it looks really good the front side still has some scabs but that's where the nail bed is, and they remove the nail and everything. Um, yesterday was kind of a rough day. And uh, it started out rough. I, you know, I've been smoke-free for a month. But yesterday was like really one of those days I wanted a cigarette really bad. And uh, so... I'm on my way. The doctor's office is like an hour and a half away. So I'm on my way and I'm like messaging my kid. I'm like, hey, I need you to go with me. You know, he lives halfway in between. And he's like, okay, why? I said, I need you to keep me accountable. And he's like, for? I said, not smoking. I was like, because right now I've got a feeling if I stop anywhere and get out of the vehicle, I will buy cigarettes. He's like, laughing and says okay you know but you know he's real supportive he's wanted me to quit for years and you know apparently you know I was stubborn and like every smoker it's really offensive when other people say well you should quit for this reason or that reason I don't know I would get pissed off when people would say shit like that to me um I don't go and tell current smokers they should quit because that's their business. I was there pretty recently, so I understand it. But uh, I ran into some, after the doctor's appointment, I stopped at Walmart and because in the three weeks since my activity has been limited because having to hold my hand like this above my heart all the time, it makes certain activities, you know, a little more difficult to perform exercise stuff like that so um, I stopped at Walmart and you know you see it on Facebook all the time the apple cider diet thing where you put one to two teaspoons in a glass eight ounce glass of cold water and drink it before each meal so I want to buy a good organic raw apple cider vinegar so, you know, I went to Walmart because they have more choices. And, you know, it was $6 for a bottle. You know, like this big. I bought it. I bought it. But I also needed some, you know, Neosporin and some tape so I can, you know, doctor my hand and cover it. Well, while I was in the uh, health and beauty section where the Neosporin and the tape are located, um, a friend of mine is on this fitness kick and you know I have been trying to get healthier for a few months and um, he's like the equate like slim fast shakes are really good and I was like oh, okay I'll look at them and I ended up buying a 12 pack of the French vanilla and so this morning I didn't know which meal to replace with it so, you know, I'm only going to replace one because I've been counting calories. And that is frustrating at times because I don't have the funds to buy all of the healthy food that are lower in calories and better for you and help you lose weight. I have to buy the cheap stuff that's fattening. And I was having a conversation with another friend of mine yesterday afternoon. Um, and I was like, you know, it's crazy. All of these fast food places, they're stuff that is so unhealthy for you. You know, the fries, the burgers, the, you know, sandwiches. 
are all a dollar, a dollar fifty, whatever. They're cheap. But the stuff that is good for you, like a grilled chicken salad, is six freaking dollars. I'm like, if they would flip that, in the salad be a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, and in the unhealthy stuff be more expensive. I said people would eat healthier. I said I would eat healthier when I'm out. Um, but so anyway, I decided to replace my breakfast because that is, I don't know. That's just what I decided to do today. It may be lunch tomorrow. I don't know. Um, I don't think it really has to be the same meal every day. I'm just going to do one a day. I'm not going to go like all crazy with it, but I did do the apple cider vinegar and the water. And no wonder people lose weight on that. Because by the time you're done drinking that 8 ounces of water, I only put one teaspoon in. It was hard to drink. It was like, ooh, I don't want to eat because I have to drink that again before I eat. Ooh, yuck. But I'm going to tr give it a try. I mean, I may be overdoing it, doing the apple cider vinegar and a meal replacement shake. But something's got to give. Just the counting the calories is not working um i'm actually saving up to buy a new treadmill i i know people are like you're gonna get on a treadmill again after this i wasn't actually on it when this happened this was stupid mistake on my part so i've taken before pictures in my undies in the mirror and i've taken measurements and i have started to be more accountable for my health. I actually told somebody that I wanted, you know, to lose. I'm not wanting to lose, you know, 100 pounds in a month. That is not realistic. It will never stay off. I'm looking to make lifestyle changes that I can live with daily to lose weight and then alter and... Um, keep it off. You know, I don't want to keep losing weight forever. I just want to lose some weight and then maintain that weight. But, yeah, that's the update. I've, I'm having a really bad day pain-wise, so I don't know how much activity I'm going to be able to do. Even taking meds it doesn't get rid of it enough where I can do a whole lot so I will do what I can but I got a feeling that uh, me the couch and the book are going to be best friends today um, there's a couple other things that have bothered me but that's for another video because this one's getting a little long -winded. But that is a health update. Um, I may actually make another channel for the weight loss journey. I may not. Y'all may just have to put up with it. If you don't like it, you know, then don't watch the videos. Because they will be titled weight loss or health or fitness or something. But uh, until then, be good to others. But especially be good to you. See you next time.